Uh, hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, we actually just got 25 likes on my Neopets profile, so we're doing a celebration video in order to share in this tremendous occasion. Um, if this video gets three likes, I'll do a follow-up tier list, so make sure to smash that like button. And uh, today we're doing a tier list with uh, who smells the worst and who smells the best in Genshin Impact since y'all have been requesting it. Okay, here we go. Let's jump into it. Okay, uh, so first we got Amber, who kind of looks like a Girl Scout. My first impression is that she probably smells like ginger snaps and campfires, and uh, I don't find that particularly offensive. So I'm going to put her in the B tier. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. Uh, next we have Barbara. Uh, Barbara's like an idol. Uh, so the problem is, is that when you're an idol, you probably smell good. But the other problem is, is that you're around of a bunch of sweaty fucking simps and their smell can like permeate and like get affected to you. However, Barbara has the ability to control water and heal so she can wash herself pretty well, which means she can kind of negate the smell that her simpy fans permeate onto her. So we're going to put her as B because it's like a good like, uh, well, no, we'll put her in C because B is like kind of good, but C is just kind of neutral. So we'll put Barbara at C. Uh, we have Bido. Uh, Bido's a fucking pirate. Uh, you don't exactly have a five-star resort shower and bath bombs when you're out trying to uh, pillage uh, treasure. Uh, for that fact, I'm going to assume that on her countless months on the sea, she doesn't have time to bathe. So I'm going to assume that Bido smells like shit. But I was thinking pirates probably eat a lot of oranges. So I'm going to bump her up a little bit because, you know, shit plus oranges isn't really the worst thing. So we'll bump her up to D tier to not be uh, too crazy about it. All right, next up, we have Bennett. Uh, Bennett just looks like a middle school dude. When I think of a middle school dude, I think of a dude in the soccer team. Bennett kind of looks like a kid who's on a soccer team. Uh, he controls, like, Earth, probably. Uh, thankfully, you know, when you're playing soccer for, like, hours upon hours a day and you have the ability to control dirt, you can probably, like, rub, like, clay and, like, ground on you and negate that smell. So we're going to go ahead and slap him in the seat here because, you know, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's like a net neutral. Uh, next, we have, uh, what the fuck's this guy's name? Oh, yeah, Chong Yun, the character that I don't have for whatever fucking reason. Um, this dude looks like the human embodiment of Five Gum, the mint flavor. So I'm going to give him S tier uh, because I, even though I have a uh, eucalyptus allergy, I mean, he looks like he would smell pretty good and maybe the sniffles and the sneezes would be worth it. Uh, next, we got Captain Falcon. Uh, so this dude's around like fire all the goddamn time and with how much effort he puts into styling his hair I'm going to assume he takes care of himself um, And he's really hot which also adds a huge bonus So I'm very biased, but I'm going to assume this dude smells like legit like a, a burnt piece of wood or metal Which in my opinion from my background um, I love so I'm gonna put him in B tier next to Amber because It's not quite as good as Amber because she has the cookies Cookie smell as well in the campfire, which is pretty much the same thing as Deluc. Uh, but yeah, Deluc probably smells like burnt wood, and that's probably pretty dope. All right, next we got Fish. Uh, she looks like she takes care of herself, but the problem is that she hangs around with some fucking weird-ass bird all, all the time. And I don't know shit about what Oz does in his daily life or her, her like, training regiment for Oz. So I'm just going to assume that she smells like bird. And in my opinion, bird kind of smells like shit. So I'm going to put her in Be uh, Beto tier. Uh, but I'm going to move a little bit in front of Beto because at least Fish tries, but she can't help that she hangs around with some fucking dead-ass bird all the time. Uh, next, you got Jean. Kind of looks like a soccer mom. Uh, and yeah, you know, that's just it. You know, it doesn't really do anything tenuous. She kind of just like kind of, you know, moves people around and makes it you know, makes people do shit for her. So she probably doesn't smell too bad. She doesn't really fucking do anything. I'm gonna put her in A tier because she probably has enough time when she's just chilling in her fucking tower to wash herself every now and then while she's doing fuck all. Uh, yeah. Next we have Kaya. I mean, this dude cares so much about his goddamn look. If he puts even 10% um, into how much effort he puts into looking sexy as fuck every goddamn day, uh, then he'll probably smell like the greatest goddamn watermelon on this fucking planet. So I'm gonna put him on S tier because, you know, he uses ice, uh, cold, you know, he can use that shit as water. You can wash it with ice. I don't fucking know. He, he looks hot. He probably smells good. Okay, I have no reason to believe that he smells fucking bad. Okay, relax. Relax. All right, probably smells good. Okay, yeah, he has the means to look good. All right, next we have Catgirl. I don't know. I mean, she looks like one of those girls who go, like, like she went to her anime convention for the first time. She didn't really know what to cosplay, so she just kind of did like a cat thing with her hair and like they dyed it. Uh, 
I, I don't know. I don't think I don't have any reason to, to believe that she would smell offensive or anything like that. But, uh, you know, I don't have any reason to believe that she's talented at doing makeup or anything. She probably fucks it up and used too much perfume. So I'm actually going to put her at D tier because she probably doesn't know how to use like the, I don't know. She, 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 she looks like she tries too hard. So when she's doing her perfume, she probably uses too fucking much, overcompensates. I'm going to put her in front of fish because too much perfume probably smells better than, uh, you know, bird. But uh, yeah, the amount of perfume might offend the nose, if you will. Next up, we have Clee, probably, you know, the fucking baby. She probably smells like pampers. I don't like the smell of diapers, uh, but it's not really an agreed upon net negative. So maybe some people like diapers. I mean, people buy millions of them for a reason. So I'll put her on the far seat here. But other than that, you know, she's a fucking child. Okay, she's a child. All right, she's a child. All right, next up we got Lisa. She hangs around books. I like the smell of dust and books, and that's pretty much what she'll smell like right? because she all she does is live in her fucking library. So yeah, I mean, you know, Lisa probably smells like books. B for books. There you go. Uh, next we got Mona. Uh, pretty much the exact same look as Lisa. They both got hats. Mona, Lisa, get it, haha. <laughs> uh, but she has the power to control water. So if she wants to smell like books, she can, but she doesn't have to. I'm going to just put her in A because she's better than Lisa anyways. And fuck, it's my two list. I don't care. All right, next up, we got a uh, uh, sexy girl that I don't know their name of because all I know is the hentai that she has. Uh, what's her name? Mingguang? Mingguang, probably. Yeah, Mingguang. Uh, she makes, like, rocks and shit. And she has, like, curtains and all that jazz. And I don't know. She probably smells like dirt. I'm going to put her in C. Next up, we got the maid, Noelle. Uh, it would be very odd if her job was to like be a maid and all that shit and she couldn't take care of herself and i can tell that this girl needs some work so i'm gonna put her in s tier because i know this bitch is gonna take care of herself because if she doesn't her life would be in shambles so based on the uh, aforementioned uh, evidence i'm going to put her in s tier because she needs to take care of herself therefore she probably smells good next up we have a dead child a dead child okay Probably smells like rotting fucking flesh. And with all the negatives of clay being diapers. So a, a, a dead person in diapers. Does that smell good to you? I hope not. If so, seek help immediately. Okay. Next up, we got uh, Razor. Uh, he's a homeless man. Okay. He's a fucking homeless man. The dude can't even afford a, a bar of soap. This dude lives out in the wild. Okay. And he thinks he's a superhero. Okay, he probably smells like fucking piss and dirt. <laughs> okay, not the greatest. Next up, we have the shut-in neat. I don't know, probably busy, too busy doing fucking alchemy and shit to wash herself. Plus, she looks stupid. So I'll put her in front of uh, Razor because she could take a shower if she wanted to. But she's probably not because she's too busy doing alchemy. So yeah, she probably smells like shit. All right, uh, Venti. Venti looks like every single girl I've ever seen drinking coffee in a Starbucks pretending to write an important essay on her laptop, but it's also a dude, so he's kind of fighting an uphill battle, and so on the off chance that he does smell like coffee, I'm going to put him at B, but because he's probably a dude trying to fit in the Starbucks and acquire fly honeys, he's probably going to have to be trying really hard, so I'm going to put him in A because he probably smells like coffee and soap, which in my opinion is awesome. But just for the fact that he confuses my body because I thought it was a girl at first really makes me angry. I'm not going to give him the S tier and I don't care. Next up, we have a food cooking girl and that's cool. She probably smells like pepper and steak, uh, which could be seen as a net negative. But I, uh, I lived in Mexico and El Paso all my life and pretty much just everybody smelled like that, including myself. Uh, and I love that smell. So I'm going to put her in A on the off chance that she smells like a fajita. Uh, next up, we have Zhao. He's really hot. So I'm going to put him in S tier. Uh, and then last up, we have Zing Kui. I don't even know who you are. Uh, B tier. All right, cool. Uh, so that's my list. If you like, cool. If you disagree, I don't care. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to wash your hands. Thanks.